Guys, it's me, it's Missy Wolf, and I'm here with the lovely Mary Sarah. That's me. And <laughs> I love her so much. And, and most of you guys remember her, Team Blake on The Voice. What season was that? Hashtag Team Blake. Um, season 10. Season 10, that's right, that's right. Oh my gosh, a lot has gone on season since Season X. Then. <laughs> it was our, it was our thing. We almost got tattoos. Did you really? Yeah, I, I still, I still think about it, about doing it. Just I, an X. I know, have a funny a story yeah. about Roman numerals. Really? You know, our cameraman was wearing an Old Navy shirt. I think it was Old Navy, and it had all these Roman numerals. And I'm like, what is MCM? Blah blah blah. I don't know what that is. And he had to like explain it yeah. to me. Yeah, yeah that's was, okay. I was pretty that bad. would be me. That would I would do the same thing, and then well, I have to go back and be like, wow. I you know, because everybody known. does like the hashtag MCM for Man Crush Mondays and stuff. So I'm like, yeah. why are you like your Man Crush Monday Monday <laughs> yourself? Like what? So, yeah, yeah. So dumb. So dumb. Anyways, let's tell everybody why we're here. We're at the first annual Nashville mm-hmm. Elvis Festival. Oh, oh my gosh. I have never been to an Elvis festival. Have you? No. Uh -uh. This is crazy. No. So it was wild when I was asked to judge for it. I was like, I've never done this before. But, you know, I didn't know what to expect either. Um, And then yesterday was the first day, and I was blown away. I mean, like, the talent and the people who, they're truly artists who who perform and are able to capture... You know, like um, Dean yesterday was talking about how, oh, like, yes. um, the moments that, you know, you get, like, little snippets where you mm-hmm. remember Elvis and maybe right. see him for just a moment on stage. And that that's happened several right. times watching these guys work, you know? Definitely. Well, there's so many times where I'm like, oh, my gosh, I have chills. Or I would mm-hmm. look I look over and be like, I'm, I'm kind of creeped out because they sound so much like him. And then one the- of them, like, literally saw yesterday mm-hmm. across the street, and I was like... Dude, you're not even wearing a costume. You have no makeup right. on, but you look exactly like right, Elvis. Right, right, I know. And like, girls are probably all over you, man. <laughs> oh, definitely, definitely. And, and the thing is, man, their moves and yeah. just, they have everything down. The costume's mm-hmm. identical to what they were in, yeah. you know, on stage and in performance. Oh mm-hmm. my gosh. I And, and the, the ladies, the ladies screaming. Oh my gosh. Makes it's me giggle. hilarious. It's, that was the one thing that I didn't expect to happen, but like right? people from the beginning, like the first guy comes out yesterday and all of a sudden like girls are standing up and screaming and like yelling and I'm, and I'm just, like, oh my gosh, this is incredible. Yeah, it's, it's just like watching one of his performances on TV mm-hmm. where he would do like the slightest little move and, and the, the ladies like, would shriek. Ah! Yeah, you know. <laughs> so I'm sitting Self there. Ball. I know. It's great. And yeah. I'm just sitting there snapping pictures and yeah. tweeting and you know doing yeah. my Instagram stuff and I'm just I'm giggling the whole time and it's just been the best best thing ever. I'm yeah. like, I definitely want to come back. I next recommend year. it to anybody. To, yeah. If you just to go to either one, you don't even have to see yeah. the whole thing, but just to go to one to see exactly. You know, these guys work very hard. They do, to, to and I mean, it's a it's a craft. Mm-hmm. It is not just. Well, that just blows me away that. Um, You know, it's like it's like a hashtag goals in your life to be able to, (laughs) like Elvis, be so influential Mm. in people's lives that you literally have contests going on for people to impersonate you. Right. You know, like you made serious history when you have somebody trying to impersonate (laughs) you. Like, you know, And, and I mean, and it's everywhere. And, you know, I was talking about this yesterday. Elvis is the one name that every person knows every, everyone knows you say elvis and they're like oh presley yeah Duh. and it's like <laughs> young middle old mm-hmm. everyone knows his name and it's just that's a legacy that's just yeah. these artists are keeping mm-hmm. alive and it's just i don't think i've ever met i don't know if anybody names their children elvis anymore you know i think it's like right. it's like it's like a it's a name now that is you know sacred right because i've never met elvis I you know you? what I haven't either. Yeah, I'm like thinking about it. I'm like I don't know about Elvis. So stay tuned for all the Elvis names that are going to be born soon. Right? Yes. I mean, uh, oh my gosh. Please send us pictures. Yes, definitely. <laughs> hashtag hashtag. Or Mary if you Sarah are named it. Elvis, yes, let us know. Let us know. Give yes. us a shout out so we can properly properly introduce you to the world. Yes, and then um, we will know an Elvis. Absolutely. Hey, that that's a life goal that's right there. Cool. We, we I think to, that's really cool. I think, you know, yeah. Elvis if you're out there. Definitely. <laughs> now, I will say, have you been watching Sun Records at all? Okay, so I have it literally all saved on my DVR right okay. now and I haven't well, had good. time to go through it yet. But I okay. watched the previews and I'm just like I need to oh my spend gosh. an entire day watching it. Now, you think you were floored here? Yeah. Wait until you see that show because they have Everybody, I mean, all of their actors yeah. are spot on for the characters that are the, the stars that they're mm-hmm. portraying. Jerry Lee Lewis and, and that's Johnny. Crazy. Cash. I mean, everybody. you must have a great production team, like a casting team too. That, that's right. I say all the time, like, kudos to the mm-hmm. casting directors on this. I yeah. mean, it's just, 
it's incredible but but i want to tell you so we do live chats with them after the show do you really directly after the show we do our, we do live chats with them and these guys are just phenomenal i want to i want to actually have, play in in one of them Oh, see, there you go. I know. Hey, there you shout go. Outs on shout out Sun Records season two. Yeah, Call Mary Sarah. Yeah. Maybe like Patsy or somebody. Or um, Ooh, that'd I be love, fun. Yeah, I love old school country. So yeah, that'd be yeah, a lot yeah. of fun. We need to get her on that show. I would love to see you on that show. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm actually, um, I just landed um, a musical, um, and it's based off of Brad Paisley's music. So they're doing oh, really? it in his hometown in Wheeling, West Virginia, and they actually did not even audition me. They really? just reached out and they were like, we really want you to play this. And it Same turns out like too. I have a lot of lines and I'm like, you guys are trusting me with this. <laughs> I'm like, okay, let's do it. You know, it's, yeah. it's awesome. I was trusted with lines before. And then after they realized that they shouldn't have trusted me, they took some of them away. <laughs> it was great. That's no. when you know, when, you, when you're working and then all of a sudden they're like, Maybe not say that one. And yeah, like, well, yeah. we're gonna cut this line real quick, and then you're like, okay, I get it. I, I, I probably stop talking now. No, you know what? For me, I I can't do that. Like, I can mm-hmm. talk to the camera, knowing there's people there that are watching this, and talk to you, and it's yeah. fine. It's real life. Yeah. But to try to act oh is my gosh, too much for me. Like, I can't do that. Yeah. I, I, I gotta incredible. give you credit. Yeah. That, that's amazing. What's going on over there, dude? What are you doing? We have a we have a young Elvis fan over here who actually I saw him yesterday and he was dancing and it was great. He was performing and we're yeah. we're gonna <laughs> legs. Oh my gosh legs. We're gonna have to like bring the camera over to him because he's really Ultimate cool. Elvis winner. Yes. Um, I, I think what? he's like the youngest Elvis fan here. What? 20, 24. My birthday was yesterday. Your birthday was yesterday? Oh my gosh, come over here, come say hi. Can you say hi to the camera? Can you say hi to everybody? We're gonna we're gonna move the camera to you. So say hi. What's your name? Dylan. Dylan. Oh my gosh, Dylan! I saw you dancing down there for some of the Elvis artists. Yeah, <laughs> have, you, have you loved Elvis for a long time? Yes. Yeah. I I, I know one song. Send my baby limb. I find a way to dwell. It's in the lonely tree. Heartbreak is telling them that oh. I've been so lonely, baby. I've oh. been so lonely. Oh. Yes. I've been so lonely, I can die. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You guys. This is what you get here. Ultimate Elvis Presley. You got to come to the Nashville Elvis Elvis Festival or any other Elvis Festival that you see in your hometown. But but Mary, sir, I want to talk about you because, I mean... I love your music and I, I love your voice. You're you're great, and Thank so it doesn't you. surprise me that they actually just called you for the part <laughs> instead of you know having you audition because you are yeah. pretty fantastic. Yeah. So what do you have going on? I know that you're super busy. I see you all over the place. Yeah, well, I'm super excited. Um, I obviously have been touring a lot. Um, uh, did take a break this last week to hang out with my grandpa, but that was fun. Nice. Um, you got to take a break every once in a while, guys. Um, but. I am actually going to be releasing my single, um, CMA Fest, yeah. this year. Nice. Oh, my gosh. So we're going to do music video mm-hmm. and uh, lyric video and um, go all out with it. I That's mean, great. it's going to be so awesome. Um, so I'll probably be doing a lot of events during CMA Fest. We already booked Music City stage. Um, it's a couple other pending stages right now. And so um, I will also be doing a fan club um, Ooh, uh, night, too, where we book out a place. It wouldn't be, like, in downtown Nashville because right. it's, like, crazy there. Oh, but just so right outside, just right outside, mm-hmm. right across the highway. So um, it's, it's going to be really great. And oh, that's yeah, fun. so there's a lot going on. So that's that's the main thing, though. Main focus is we're going to be filming here. And um, it's my first music video, too. Oh, my gosh. That, is, that's exciting. Which is big. And I literally came up with the idea. Did and you? I'm so excited. You know, because most of the time, like, people hire other people mm-hmm. and say like okay like here's a song come up with an idea or right. like pitch me a couple ideas and right I didn't want to do that I wanted to like really think about it mm-hmm. and um you know be invested like as an yeah. artist you want to kind of have like your finger in it. of course we always want to have our fingers our noses we're nosy <laughs> us musicians <laughs> and artists well, um I mean you're selling yourself and mm-hmm. if you want it you know you want well, it that's to what be I wanted you, yeah you know? I wanted fans to like see um how I portrayed things mm-hmm. and and Um, Of course, I want them to be able to portray, you know, however they want to, but I wanted them to see, like, the real me, and I'm going to have friends in it, and my own friends, like, we're not, you know, casting, and so it's going to be really, really great in a way to just, like, get to know me and what I do with my friends, so. And how meaningful is that, too, when you have all of your friends and people who mean something Mm -hmm. to you? 
it is with you I, yeah. in something that well you know, it becomes I mean, like it's it's real life you know and that's right. one thing that I always want to do um, is just show people who I am like and, and right. one thing I preach is like I'm not perfect guys that's right. definitely a thing um, and so you know it's the best thing that I could do for my fans is to you know give them a peek inside inside, right. inside my life and uh, right. you know how I work and and, and I, I just think that that stands out too um, I, I love it when people are real. Mm-hmm. I love it when, you know, you can be yourself and you can put yeah. yourself out there. And as an artist, that's mm-hmm. not always easy to do. Well, it is. It's very, um, very scary. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, uh, but, but I've always been taught, um, you know, if you live by fear, that can stop you yes. from doing a immense amount of things. And oh, so, um, I've always, you know, it, it has held me back sometimes. You know, I'm not, I'm not perfect on I, that either. But I'm not gonna lie, it's held me back quite a bit. Yeah. You know? Well, you know, life is, life is, isn't easy. And the thing is, is it like, you know, what pays yeah. off is the hard routes that you decide right. to take. You know, and, and taking that step and that leap of faith and, absolutely, um, like in the Bible, do not be afraid is in there 365 times for yep. every day of the year. Absolutely. So, I'm so that's glad you what, said yeah, that. that's what I go by every day. I'm like, oh, I got one today, so yep. I'm not gonna, not gonna be fearful about this. So I'm still fearful of spiders. Sorry. Sorry. I'm yeah. all. I'm you always. Know you know, there I'm are always things gonna- like that. There are things like that. But I. Oh my gosh! Speaking of spiders, though, um, did you see Megan Lindsay? She got bit on the face by a brown recluse spider. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, like it literally, they, she had to go through like treatment and fixing and everything. Oh you should look gosh. it up. It's crazy. It's scary. She was just sleeping. I'm like, oh, it's going to happen to me. Oh my that gosh. That is definitely fearful, y'all. See? Be scared of it. <laughs> and, and, you know, I know that there have been a few accounts in, in, in California mm-hmm. of that, but it's not, I mean, that's not where they, they are, but mm-hmm. they're here. Yeah, they're Tennessee. definitely here. They're here. <laughs> and so my, I'm moving to like a new apartment in Nashville. And that was like one of the first things she had said to me. And I was like, and I had just seen Megan Lindsay and I was like, what? <laughs> I'm like, why would right. you tell me that? Right? So oh scary. my gosh! Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we need to be really careful. Mm-hmm. And yeah, as soon as you get bit, I know Bug that spray. I know that you have to absolutely go get treated immediately because those necrotic mm-hmm. bites. I mean, it's just. I it's mean, crazy. she even she like killed it in her sleep. So like, she woke up and it was like literally like right there, dad wow. next door, and I was like. Ooh. That is. She posted a picture. So, oh my gosh! It's oh scary. my gosh, that Megan. We ho- we hope you're better. Was swollen. Oh, that's terrible. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know that that's that's the same type of stuff when people yeah. get MRSA. They treat you the same with the same types of medication because any of that tissue eating flesh oh, it's stuff, scary. it's it's scary. it's scary. And it's I like mean, she had like a it was like a hole, and I was like, yeah. Oh my gosh, I've never even seen anything like right. it, honestly. And right. So, but I, as I mean, now she's she's healing quite well that's you know, great for, for that happening well prayers for you dear yes, and i'm so happen. sorry that that happened and yeah be spider spray do something mm-hmm. protect yourself because <laughs> you know what i mean i think we all take for granted oh it's not gonna happen to us yeah. oh my gosh that's mm-hmm. that's crazy scary mm-hmm. um but but okay. i love how we're talking about spiders. i know i love that we're talking <laughs> about spiders <laughs> but it's because we're keeping it real we're and i love it i love life. that i love that it doesn't have to just be I'm doing this and we're going to only talk about my career and this and this and this. And we no, just think, you I know. don't like that. You know, no, a friend of mine, like Sarah Kaus, um, we did an interview and she does this series called People Of. Mm-hmm. And so she'll, she noticed that like interviewers were just asking like yes. the same questions yeah, and like it's frustrating. irrelevant questions mm-hmm. a lot of the times. And um, she was like, man, but I like I, if I were to do that, like I would ask you know about their lives and like right. how they started or like you know like real in-depth yeah. questions about artists and so we did like a 30 minute thing where we yeah. you know just talked over anything and and it gave a chance for like my fans right. to hear you know that even before the voice i started you know professionally singing when i was 12. so it was right. like you know there was a whole other story that people like fans from the voice thought oh she just got her start off of the voice right. you know and but no I've that's a great for, platform mm-hmm. it's a great springboard but yes, that's not where you start mm-hmm. when i when i looked at doing the voice it was definitely it wasn't a last resort or start type of thing right. it was a you know this is going to be part of my journey and i'm gonna yeah. look back and go hey you remember when i was on the voice right and, you know 2016 2017 it, it, it's <laughs> it's so phenomenal too because you know that's why I do what I do with this show. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I like to, you know, just talk, have real conversations. I don't like the cookie cutter questions. Yeah. Whenever I prepare anybody, they always want a list of questions. Well, I don't do that. I don't either. Just, I don't even ask. And people like send yeah. me them, and I'm like, I don't read them. I no. don't because I'm like, I'd rather have a response that was like super yeah, real. Yeah, it, it doesn't need to be scripted. In the moment, you mm-hmm. know, I mean, it's it's life, and mm-hmm. you know, so sometimes, you know. <laughs> I have crazy conversations about candy and cereal and yeah. coffee and, and stuff There's like that. There's nothing wrong with that. And people relate. Hashtag I, relatable. Yes. 
And I'm just going to throw in hashtag Sour Patch Kids, SPK, Sour Than Sweet. Um, because I absolutely love that candy, so, oh and I'm gosh. so addicted. It's addicting. It yeah. is. Oh, I will eat an entire bag. See? Mm-hmm. I buy those 1.9-pound bags at Walmart. Do you really? But yes, I do. That's incredible. Like one a week. That's incredible. But okay, I have kids to share them with. So there you it's, go. it's not just it's me. It's not just her, guys. But it's mostly. <laughs> like I carry She's them like hiding the bag. In I, do. Like, I do. Yeah. <laughs> this is probably the first day I haven't actually had the bag in my purse because I just switched purses. What? I carry them in my purse all the time. Oh you gosh. have no idea. Travel Every baggies. <laughs> it's CRS. I was passing Sour Patch Kids out to uh, artists. And people like, you have no idea. them and them. See, look at how <laughs> efficient I, she is. I was supplying the sugar, sugar for the needed. people who were feeling down. And so, yeah, yeah no, it was great. We're going up real quick. <laughs> okay. I know. It's pretty, it's pretty bad when the whole world knows I have an addiction to Sour Patch Kids. We'll Sponsor be me. About that later. Sponsor oh, yeah. me, guys. <laughs> I promise I will bring those bags out everywhere with me. Yeah. Um, no, I seriously, that is that's a goal. Incredible. That's yeah. a definite, that's a goal. That's, that's Sour a goal. Patch Kids sponsorship goal. Like, I'm going to tweet it. I know. <laughs> Thank we'll you. We'll tweet it. Let's tweet it. Yeah. Absolutely. Too bad I don't have my bag to pose for a picture with. Dang <laughs> it. I know. What? Dang. <laughs> but so, okay, so you have your stuff that's going on. You have your video mm-hmm. that's coming out, CMA Fest. Is there anything else that you can tell fans before we go? Because I know you're busy. You've got a lot of stuff to do. Hmm. No, 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 I'm like, no, no. <laughs> something in the vault there. Um, well, there is more music, so okay. um, not just the single. Um, mm-hmm. I'm planning on. I think I, the way I want to do it is like, um, when I write songs, it's in the moment and like in my life mm-hmm. when you know it's actually happening, and I love getting to perform that. And then you know, most people save those songs and then they release them like a year right. after, and then you're mm-hmm. not even going through the same things. So right. I want people to like literally be a part of my journey yeah. in my life. So I think I'm like going to release them every three months. Like, Oh, just, that's awesome. That's really great. Just get the music out because I think that's like the yeah. whole point. Like I, you know, as being an artist, you know, right. I, I love to sing and I love to write and I love to perform and mm-hmm. you know, why not release it? Why make it like a big old shebang right. thing? You know, right. like I, I just think it, yeah. it's great to get it out there, you know? And, and, and the fans love that. Mm-hmm. I, I've seen the fan responses to that when mm-hmm. artists are releasing singles every, you know, so mm-hmm. often. Um, I just think that's just incredible. Yeah. Well, with the streaming and everything too, it's like, you right. know, it's quick and easy and like it, you're able to Absolutely. just get your stuff up there real quick so people can have it. So, um, and I, I've been with, uh, withholding my music for a while, so I feel pretty bad. So now I'm like, oh, I'll just give you a crap ton of music yeah. all at once. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. So, we love it. But, you with, know? but um, the song that will be my single is called Without You. So, Without You. Mm-hmm. All right. It's all about being independent. Yeah. And uh, it's a healthy thing, you know, that's finding good. yourself again. It's not, it's not really like a let's trash the guy for being a crappy right. man or anything like that. Right. It's, it's more about, you know. Taking the time to find who you are after, you know, Absolutely. going through a little bit of a breakup. Something I've always said is before there was us, there was me. So <gasps> I'm gonna cry. Today. You have to find You're gonna make me cry. you have to find your me again. Yeah. And and it's and it's hard. And you know, a lot of people yeah. A lot of people who know me know, you know, the journey that I've had the last few years has Mm -hmm. been a very difficult one. And, you know, I had to get to that point several Mm -hmm. times and I had to remember, you know what, before there was us, there was me. Mm -hmm. And there's always going to be me long after. What's wild, too, is like that that's probably one of my fears. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, one of the fears that is really difficult to face is um, I don't I don't want to ever, you know, get into a relationship or anything like that or, you know. And, and be with somebody and not know who I am, right. you know, because I know for a fact I've watched it like yes. through family, through friends mm-hmm. of just people trying to find themselves in somebody yeah. else. And I don't yeah. want to be that person. No. I want to be a strong, independent woman. Yes. And, you know, <laughs> and that's the thing, your identity. You have mm-hmm. to have your identity constantly. Yeah. You have to have you. Yeah. Because if you don't, I yeah. mean, your, your life is just not mm-hmm. going to be what it could be. Mm-hmm. And you're going to hold well, yourself back. Well, you can also, back. exactly, you can, you can be your worst mm-hmm. enemy yes. also. Yes. So. I yes. lived it. I know. Yeah. Live Eight. When we, when go. I was at Live Eight in Philly years ago, mm-hmm. um, I, you know, I realized it was like that moment. You know, you have those epiphanies, and I was like, mm-hmm. whoa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, when You're you like, realize, hang on, when you realize that you haven't mm-hmm. been yourself, and you it's realize so, how long you haven't been so yourself, 
that well you give up a lot for somebody else yeah you know, and when it, you care for somebody um it's yeah it's tough because you're willing to change who you are yeah and, and, and you should never have to do that no you know? not there at all there are ways of changing in positive ways mm -hmm. that you know someone will affect you and um and that's always like the good well yeah the good growing. ways of bring the the good things out right. of you you know growing mm -hmm. is great but when you completely change who mm -hmm. you are yeah it's that no the the person you're with needs to bring out yeah amazing qualities mm -hmm. not change them mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah never change never ever change who never you change. are guys not, you're perfect just the way anybody. you are yep. god does not make mistakes mm -hmm. stay who you are stay true to yourself yeah. and with that Take it from I, bruno mars just the way you are I, absolutely and with that we're gonna let you guys Yay! go until next time stay tuned see you later guys